Oh, JD here. And as you can see, we are back on F122 as always. And we return for my hot lap and setup series, this time at Hungry, a track that is extremely technical. And you can see by the leaderboard here, FRA Elite probably. I think he holds most of the world records in Xbox, so certainly the fastest driver over a lap and he's done some pretty impressive ones and reason why i'm xbox again because my pre-season race at brs starts this weekend which i will be doing every saturday 8 p.m uk time so make sure you tune into my live stream because it will be quite a long season ahead and yeah i am very excited to take part in it but yeah this up here i was pretty happy with it and like I said in my other videos, when I manage to get the time quite quickly, that means I'm usually quite happy with the setup. And I think it took me maybe less than 12 laps, full completed laps to get this time, which I was very satisfied with. And I think it's exactly the same setup as FRA Elites as well. So, yeah, quite often. Uh, sometimes people's setups do suit me. When it comes to the race, might have to make a few tweaks here and there, which is one of the benefits of my YouTube members Discord. If you click the join button, because I have been making any updates or any tweaks to when I do racing online, which often a lot of people ask me, what do you have to do? But sometimes you don't have to make any tweaks. It really is what suits you. But quite often it might be maybe increasing the roll bars to make it a bit stiffer, or maybe even lowering the roll bars or lowering the front tire pressures for more rotation, better traction. But most of these setups work extremely well online for me. So, as usual, we're going to let you watch us up here uninterrupted. And then we will start breaking it down. And I think I've spent a bit more time in this than a low point seven, maybe even a high point six. I think is very possible with a bit more sweat and effort <laughs> put into it. But the first sector could have gained a lot more time there. But sector two and three... I was pretty satisfied with and now in the past time trial has definitely been a little weaker than mine but this game definitely seemed to have a little bit more raw pace than the previous game so I am very excited for this league racing season coming up as well and you can see here using all the track as much as possible and yeah, they kind of call this the Monaco without the walls because you're just constantly, constantly just doing something when you're driving on this track. And coming around the last corner here, short shifting into fifth gear and coming across sign, it's going to be a 14.909, which I was pretty satisfied with and puts me in the top three. So as we start the lap now, let's break it down so coming into here we just set a 14.9 on the previous app so coming into this one really i use the 100 meter ball so as i pass that and about two clients before the curb starts that's where i start breaking you actually want to hit this curb on the inside which is the reason why i lost a bit of time because it helps rotate the car you can see we've actually missed it slightly on this occasion so we're going to pay for that on the exit as you can tell try and get the drs as you're turning going through this turn one and then coming into this one very difficult reference zone but i kind of used the 100 meter board about a car lift before the curb starts as well we don't want to be breaking quite deep into this corner and try and let the camp off the corner help you rotate the car use all the track on the exit and coming through here i think it's very important that you hook the wheel on the inside it will minimize the lap time and help gain a bit of time as well come up to the top of this hill here I use as the curb starts and this black box, so just as I get to it, that's why I break and turn in. So as we do that now, as we pass it, try and take as much curb as you can on this inside, but not too much where it will unsettle the car. Use all the track on the exit. And you use all the track on the left-hand side. I actually aim for this Marshall post or the black box here. So just before I get there, that's when I will be maximizing my lock going into the right-hander. Get as close as you can to this curb, without actually touching it. And then on the exit, make sure you use all the track. Avoid that yellow sausage curb. But once that finishes, use all of the track here. 
as you now go into this chicane. Very, very crucial, this corner. But just before the grey part of this curb starts, that is where I start breaking turn. Use the curb on the entry and going to make sure you use the lower portion of this curb. Do not use the upper portion. You cannot mount that on this game. And it's exactly the same for the second part as well. Use the lower portion. Do not use the upper, which I actually prefer uh, rather than just mounting it. On here, make sure you use all the curb on the exit. As you go past the 50 meter board, that is really mainly my reference. And also this pole on the right hand side. So just before I get there, that's where I start turning in. Kiss the curb on the inside. Don't mount it, but just try and get as close as you can to it. And then try and get as far left as you can. So you can see pretty much no more to left than we can go. Because you really need to carry this momentum for the right hander. Get as close as you can again. So very similar to the left hander before. Close as you can without mounting the curb. And then on the exit, use all of the track. Get the wheel in a straight line and make sure you maximize the track on this exit. Coming into here, as the curb starts, so quite similar to the previous chicane, that's when you'll be braking and starting to turn in. Keep it in sixth gear, close to counter curb on the inside. Use all the track on the exit. And now coming into this one, there's a bit of a difficult reference point, but I would say about a car length before the curb starts. That's when I'll start braking and turning in. When I take this corner, I take it a bit differently to other people. I like to use this curb on the inside, like I should have done with turn one to really rotate the car. A lot of people like to miss it. So you can either go fast and deep into the corner and miss it. On the exit, I make sure I use all the curb. Make sure your left wheel is on the green stuff because then you will actually get good traction. And then coming into this one, we have the banner above the track. Pretty much as soon as I get underneath that, that's where I start braking and turning in. Ignore the first part of this apex. Try hit the very last part of it as you can because then you can open up the wheel much sooner. Avoid this curb on the exit. Aiming for the black box and the marshal posts. So quite similar to what we did at the top of the hill in the first sector. Just before you get there, that's when you'll be maximizing your lock. Ignore the first part of the apex and we short shift into fifth gear just to maximize the traction. Really get that traction as early as you can. Make sure you get in the dearest line and go across the line. It's a 14.9. It's a very short lap, but an extremely technical one. And that was enough for the top three on the leaderboard, which I was very, very happy with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and look at the SERP. As always, please make sure you keep on reloading in people's SERPs, because sometimes it will not load in the SERP correctly. So as we look at this here, 50, 38 wings. So quite similar to what a Monaco is, as I said, need a lot of downforce around here and i can confirm zero zero wings does not work around this circuit 60 50 differential pretty much the norm on this game exactly the same for the geometry as well i think these things won't really change that much eight four seven five four five so many different combinations you need need a bit of rotation on the rear around this circuit and the brakes 150 maximum tire pressures as well so yeah i really hope that that has helped you out please subscribe for more hot lap and serps please let me know what tutorials you would like to see from me because i do have quite a few in the pipeline coming and thank you so much for the support on the content league racing does start again this weekend which i cannot wait for so yeah thank you so much hopefully you're enjoying all the content so far and it's becoming useful for you and i'll catch you very very soon peace